you're watching the news on headlines now. Well, heavy rains continue in the coastal districts of Tamil Nadu. Normal life has been affected and farmers and fishermen are the worried lot. More than 100 people have lost their lives in rain-related incidents across the state. Sam Daniel brings us this report. The havoc of the flash floods in 12 districts of southern coastal Tamil Nadu. More than a hundred people have lost their lives as swollen rivers and overflowing dams continue to press into residential areas, halting all means of transport, bringing down roofs. One point four two lakh hectares of paddy that was almost ready for reaping now under water. If rain waters don't recede in a few days, this crop will be lost. <laughs> Besides an exgratiate payment for families of victims, the state government is also assessing damage to crops to compensate farmers. While well, Chennai has been spared this time, there's a tough task ahead for the state government to set right hundreds of kilometers of battered roads and damaged infrastructure. In Chennai, Sam Daniel, Find the TV. And on to some national news now. While well, YSR son Jagan Mohan Reddy announced his resignation from the Congress in the first step towards launching his own party. Jagan was the MP from Kadappa. His mother Vijay Lakshmi has also resigned as an MLA. Jagan has sent a five-page emotional resignation letter to Sonia Gandhi in which he reportedly expresses his hurt over the party trying to divide his family. And in his resignation letter, Jagan Reddy hit out at the Congress High Command. He says, and I quote, I have been suffering humiliation and silence during the last 14 months. Why this animosity against my family and myself? The last straw was the conspiracy that is being hatched to vertically split our family. Is it fair to lure my uncle by S. Vivekananda Reddy to Delhi, thereby paving way for fishers in my family? Forces against the YSR legacy have the blessings of the party high command. Well, Union Telecom Minister Kapil Sipil cracked the whip on the ineligible companies in the 2G Spectrum scam case. Addressing a press conference in New Delhi, Sibyl announced that notices will be sent to 85 companies that had been granted the 2G Spectrum license when A. Raja was the Telecom Minister. Commenting on the CAG report, which claimed that the grant on the 2G licenses on the first come, first serve basis by Raja cost the extra car about rupees 1.76 lakh crore rupees. Sibyl said that the telecom ministry would decide on the report, which is an opinion. Many of the companies we believe, when they applied for the licenses, through a self-certification process, may not have disclosed all the facts and that they might have had the special resolutions passed but that they applied to the, to the registrar much later. This has very serious implications on the transparency of the process because what it does is it allows certain companies to get ahead of the queue on the basis of the first come first serve policy on the basis that they had passed a special resolution without having gone to the registrar for those who came later may have actually complied with the requirements but were not considered for the reason that those who came earlier gave the self-certification that they had complied with the law. This has repercussions on the process and therefore we have decided to send a notice to each of these companies as to why their licenses should not be cancelled because of the fact that they did not fulfill the eligibility requirements. Well, on the other side of this small break, Ms. Vanita Vijay Kumar joins us with her side of the story of what is perhaps the biggest drama playing out in our city.